Street performers are amazing people. Bringing life to the boring, everyday streets. But while they all are incredible, the ones in this video are utterly magnificent. These are 20 street performers that will amaze you. Number 20. David Blaine now, some of you might think of street performers as only things like dancers or, you know, people who do little tricks, but that's not the case. A performance, by definition, can be something that is any kind of entertainment that's hopefully legal. It's just that it's being performed for you, and that includes magic from one of the best around being David Blaine. Enter the Drowned Alive stunt, one that happened technically over the course of seven days as he prepared for the final act that would indeed be performed street performer style, as he would be submerged underwater in an eight-foot tank and be tied within it and would have to not only escape the bounds, but also stay underwater for however long that he could. This would be done in front of a live crowd as well as some doctors, thank goodness, so that he could be monitored just in case things got bad. Bad. Which really is part of the irony right there, because on one hand, he did last 7 minutes 30 seconds in the tank. That's right, he was able to last over 7 minutes in a tank without many issues, or at least that's what you are led to believe, because during the stunt he actually got kidney and liver damage, which if you didn't know is bad, and he also willingly submitted his body to science. But don't worry, he's still alive, all in order to see what the effects of the stunt would have on his body both in the short and the long term. Now, sure, the stunt was a success, but also it really wasn't, because seriously, that's not something you should do even if you're an expert. Again, he did have serious damage to his body after doing the stunt, so while it was quite a performance, it's not one that any of you should do at home. Because I'm not going to be held responsible if you do. However, these awesome street performers will amaze you. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. These awesome street performers will amaze you because they're someone who's used trickery and illusion to give the impressions that they're floating in the air. Isn't it incredible? Just how are they doing this? Do you know? Or are you just as baffled as me? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. New Orleans Street Performers New Orleans is a city that lives for entertainment, and I mean that in the best way possible. Because the city is one of fun and culture and sports, like the New Orleans Saints, and a bunch of people coming together to have memorable events like Mardi Gras. But that also means you're going to see a lot of street performers out there and enjoy them in all sorts of ways. Including this one, where you have two guys doing the robot, probably better than anyone you've ever seen before. And that's saying something, because I've seen a lot of good robots. Just look at these two. They're doing more than just dancing. They've made themselves look robotic to help make things even more fun for the crowd, and they work in tandem, as well as their own, to really give the dance more flair and style. The proof of their skill can be shown by the crowd that begins to grow around them. They don't have a uh, many watching at first, but once they do get going and into it, they begin to bring the people in because they have some really great moves. They even interact with the crowd to help make the dance more fun. Now, I just can't help but give them props because this is absolute skill and dedication that many don't even dare to try and have for one reason or another. So for all you dancers out there who say, well, I can do the robot, just watch these two and then tell me that with a straight face. Number 18. Who dat? Yes, I'm sticking with New Orleans, but this time I'm talking about something that I noted earlier, dancing. Specifically, break dancing. This is without a doubt one of the most popular kinds of street performance out there because it's easy to set up and do, if you actually know how to do it, and most people can't help but be amazed by it once it gets going. This one is in New Orleans and takes place on Bourbon Street. These guys are working the crowd right from the start, all to ensure that everyone's excited for what's coming. And now it's time for the show. 
We're getting a little dizzy just watching the first guy. That's something that honestly looks like it's breaking the laws of physics. The guy's spinning around, slowing down, and then somehow speeding up as he does another kind of spin. What in the world am I even seeing? As the performance continues on, they do get more and more elaborate in their routine and abilities, and quite frankly, it's shocking and almost terrifying to behold. Seriously, if I tried this, I'd be breaking limbs and body parts one after another if I even dared to attempt it. So due to that, I have to tip my cap to them and say once again that if you're impressed by this, please don't try it at home until you're actually capable of doing it. These guys are clearly experts who know what they're doing and have practiced the routine many times over. Number 17. Dario Rossi now, for something equally as fun, but a bit more low-key, and something that you could do with a little practice. This is about a drummer who likes to perform in the streets of London. His name is Dario Rossi, and he's famous and infamous for his play in the streets. His origins began in Rome, Italy, where he found his passion and began studying the art of percussion around the age of 10, under the guidance of a maestro. Rossi would then go on to formally study drums at St. Louis College of Music, but Paris, France was where he first took to the streets, and not long afterwards he played in festivals. Later on, he would busk in Piccadilly Circus of London, as well as Mauer Park of Berlin, Piazza di Spagna of Rome, and other places. He plays on metal pots and pans along with recycled materials, and many have taken notice. It's hard not to, really, because you'd think that something like this wouldn't work, but it does because he makes it work. And from that success, he then went on a tour of Europe that took him everywhere from Budapest to Oslo to Copenhagen, Prague, Paris, Barcelona, and more. So let it be a lesson to you. Just because it may be odd or not typical doesn't mean that it can't work and can't bring you success in another way than something more standard. Rock on, Dario Rossi. We salute you and your metal pan drum set. Number 16. The Living Statues do you know about the wax museum known as Madame Tussauds? Basically, those who go there are going to see a series of wax statues that are made to look like some of the most famous celebrities around, and one of the things that they do like to do is swap out the statues for the actual celebrities and freak out people who are there taking pictures. The reason that I bring this up is that a set of street performers decided to do this in reverse of sorts, because as you can see, two guys dressed up as bronze statues and made it so that they really look like those statues. Then they went onto the streets and made people wonder as if they were actually real or not, only for them to break the rules and move on a whim to freak people out and have all kinds of fun. At times they do just do it to freak people out, and other times they do it to lay on the fun and the gags, especially when it comes to children who clearly don't understand what's actually going on. It's honestly one of the more simple and wholesome kinds of street performance that's out there. But why? Why is it so fun to watch? Perhaps it's because it's something that anyone could do if they're ready to get all dolled up, and there's a simple pleasure of freaking people out when they think one thing is going on, and that it actually becomes another thing entirely. Number 15. Michael Jackson. Now, I'm not going to talk about an actual performance by Michael Jackson on the street, even though I'm pretty sure that he did do that at one time or another. Rather, I'm talking about a Michael Jackson impersonator who could have given the original King of Pop a run for his money. Seriously, just watch the guy and see how he moves and how he grooves in the music that's being played. What's more, he's smart and does a mixtape session, going through several of Michael Jackson's biggest hits like Billie Jean, Thriller, Smooth criminal and more, and yes, he can actually dance. He does all of Michael's great moves, including the moonwalk, which is something that you'd have believed that only Michael Jackson himself could have done on his own, but the guy does it with such ease that it's almost mind-boggling. 
And just so you know, I can do the moonwalk, but this guy does it not just better than I ever could, but the way that he moves and jukes just like Michael simply goes to show just how dedicated he is to his performance and his impression of Michael Jackson, whom he even looks like in his dance and show. He even gets the audience to join in at one point and it becomes a lot of fun, but in truth, watching this isn't just fun, it honestly makes me wish that Michael Jackson was still alive, because could you imagine a dance-off between those two? Yeah, that would probably blow up the internet. It's sad that we'll never get to see it happen, but at least we have Jackson's music and videos to remember just how good that he was. Number 14. Ricky Sires from a man who's a moving work of art to one who's trying to save a dying form of art, allow me to introduce you to Ricky Sires. He's a person who does a puppet show as his street performance, but it's so much more nuanced than that because he doesn't only do the hand puppets like you'd see with performers like Jeff Dunham, but rather he does marionettes, which if you don't know, is a much more difficult art form because of how you're controlling all the movements of the puppets. Yet, as you watch him go, he's able to do it with almost laughable ease. By his own admission, he's doing these performances because he loves them, and he wants to showcase the dying art to people who very clearly don't get to see this kind of thing every day. He's even gone so far as to note that he's let the puppets shape him over time, and that's why he's made so many of them, because he has a connection with each one that he does. This is something that very much gets lost in the shuffle when it comes to these performances, because many out there would would simply look at these people go and say, well, they're quite skilled, but it's much more than that for many of them. For many of them, these are a passion of theirs, and it's something that they can aspire to and drive forward to do more with. And I do hope that Sires gets to keep doing his marionette show for as long as possible, because he does truly seem to love it. Number 13. The Ring Man. The phrase poetry in motion might just be the best description for this man from Taiwan, as he's known as the Ring Man and can do some of the most incredible acrobatics you've ever seen or have never seen with nothing more than a giant metal ring. That's all he has to work with one singular giant metal ring, which he can fit inside of and do some absolutely incredible things with. Just watch him go. You might have thought that he would simply spin around in the ring or do things like cartwheels within it to show off his sense of balance, but instead he's basically a full-on acrobatic show that is both minimalistic and yet deeply entrancing. Think about everything that goes into a performance like this. It's not just something as simple as having balance, but also using your balance and that of the ring itself in order to pull off various things. In a way, the man has to be perfectly in sync with the ring and always know what's going on as he performs tricks with it. Otherwise, the ring would fall or he'd get thrown out and even worse. Yet, when you watch him perform, it's almost as if that thought has never crossed his mind at all. He's so in tune with it, as well as his own body, that he goes and performs bigger and better tricks with almost every rotation. This is true mastery of a skill, and you'd be lucky if the guy performed on your street. Number 12. The Subway Singer Mike Young is a musician from the United States, and his performance as a busker in the New York City subways has been watched by millions on YouTube. His incredibly powerful vocals and awesome delivery have set him apart from other buskers in the scene, and if you don't believe me when I say that he's got a really good voice, you should listen to him for yourself. He's really good. And the best part is that he has proven his talent on another level. He's actually appeared on America's Got Talent and made it all the way to the semifinals in season 12. That just shows that he's got, well, you guessed it, talent. He even went and released an album in 2020, but it wasn't one that just happened because of America's Got Talent. Rather, he did a Kickstarter where he raised over $90,000 and that allowed him to make the EP. That meant that a lot of other people also had faith in him as well. In many ways, Mike Young is someone who's an inspiration for those who have talent but aren't exactly sure if they'll be found by the right people. He was just a man who began to sing on the subway, trying to make people's lives better as they waited for their commute. 
And now he's been on television and people know his name more and more. And by the year 2020, he actually had 30 million views on YouTube and got an album made. That's dedication, perseverance, and something that we can all admit that we need at times. Number 11. Cyril Takayama now, if you recall, I began the list by talking about one of the world's most famous magicians doing a not-so-safe piece of magic to try and impress people, but now I'm talking about a more street-level street magician by the name of Cyril Takayama. He's famous in Japan for his performances and doing all kinds of magic for people on the street, and some of his signature tricks, or effects, include the hamburger in the menu trick, having his head fall off of his shoulders, and the card through the window trick. His most most dramatic was above the Circus Circus Hotel, where he bungee jumps into the hotel pool with a sword and spears the chosen card of his co-host from a deck that's floating in the water. But while he's famous now, his journey to becoming famous as a street magician was anything but simple. His father actually sent him to Japan due to his behavioral issues, and he was once so poor that he could only get one meal a day. He did attempt to contact Japanese magic circles, but was viewed as an outsider and at the age of 17, he met Ito, a rich Japanese businessman who employed him to perform in his hotel for four to five days a week. He then performed as a magician for weddings and parties for two years before creating his own stage magic show within two months. Eventually, he joined various societies of magic, won several awards, and is now so famous in Japan that he walks around in disguise so that people don't immediately recognize him. It's a true rags to riches story and one that we can all appreciate. Number 10. One Man Puppet Show as noted before, puppets and marionettes are a popular type of street performance that's done by all kinds of showmen, but when it comes to the one-man puppet show, it's a bit of a different animal, in the good way of course, because while many of you think of puppets as being controlled by the hands, the guy here has a set of puppets attached to him in the front and the back, and they're connected by rods at all of the key joints. While it may look like an over-elaborate setup, it's actually something that's much more creative than you may realize. Because now, the man in the middle only has to move himself in order to get the puppets to dance in various ways, giving him a lot of options, as well as fluidity that can't be ignored. You can watch as he and his puppets dance to Michael Jackson. The crowd is mesmerized by how they look like a three-man dance crew because of how in sync they are with their dance grooves. All in all, it's a wonderful performance and a very fun spin on the idea of a puppet show. And I'm not saying that everyone could do it, but if you do do it, learn to do it well, you can put on a show of your own that may draw a crowd in the end. Number 9. Dogs Have Moves now for something completely different. Staffordshire Bull Terriers may have a bad reputation with some, but Ziggy is on a mission to change that one trick at a time. Ziggy Tricks is a trick dog that's been featured on Britain's Got Talent, and after watching this video it's safe to say that Ziggy has achieved his mission. because this is pretty much a dog that can skateboard, do breakdancing with his owners, and more. The dog has a whole lot going for him, and I'm pretty sure that the owners love that. Now sure, the dog can't go full breakdance on things, and that would be a bit freaky if it were to happen, but you shouldn't miss the forest for the trees. The dog has tricks that most dogs wouldn't even want to learn, as well as being so well choreographed with his owners that the dog can pull off moves on cue and in the right way. And if you think your dog can do better, you need to show me video proof. Number 8. Monkey since I just showed you one animal doing tricks, how about another? This time around, we don't have to talk about a dog as an act for a crowd, but a monkey. Yes, really, it's not a big monkey, mind you. That would be much higher on the list if it were the case, but a little one that's hung on to by its owner on a long leash. As a result of this, the monkey is able to take commands in various ways, and when those commands are noted by the monkey, the tricks it can do are honestly rather impressive. I'm talking about playing dead and getting right back up, even riding a motorcycle, and putting on a fake head and then riding around on that motorcycle again. Think about the training that just had to go into making that monkey be able to do that. It's very impressive. Number 7. Fedor Grigorev 
Meet Fedor Grigorev. Unlike any other typical street performers who tend to showcase their musical talent with instruments like guitars and violins, he shows off his unique talent by playing the xylophone, but it's one that's made entirely of glass bottles. And he uses those glass bottles to make beautiful music. It may sound odd, but you have a listen for yourself, and then you'll know just how real that he is. It does sound very professional, and in its own way. You might also notice that there's water inside of those bottles, and that helps the sound to be tuned in various ways, thus giving him the tone and pitch that he wants to make them sound different. Not unlike another recycle artist that I talked about earlier, this is very much an example of someone using what they had available, putting in a little creativity, and then making something truly special as a result. All in all, it's pretty awesome. Number 6. Speed Painter How good are you at drawing? Any kind of medium? How good are you? For those who said that you're good at it, how fast would you say that you could go to make a drawing? A couple of hours? Well, now let me show you this street performer who's using only stencils, spray paint, and actual fire. They can make incredibly elaborate and beautiful paintings in just about four minutes. which should seem impossible, but it's not. Just watch how fast he goes as he never really breaks stride, going from one step to the next, and when he's done, it's insane how actually good it looks. And again, this is a guy that you can find doing this on the street. There are world-famous artists that I'd say aren't even as good as this guy, which is truly astounding. Number 5. Groove Uncles have you ever heard of Stomp? Well, if you haven't, they're a popular group that are able to make music using objects that are all around them, including trash cans and their lids. Again, it may sound ridiculous, but at this point in the list, you should be believing the impossible quite a bit. That brings me to Groove Uncles, a set of performers who do the stomp route and make music right on the street, and all they have as their instruments is their bodies and giant plastic trash bins. As you watch them, they do indeed make sweet music, and it's much more rhythmic than anyone's probably expecting, and the fact that they dress up for their performances is a nice touch. Number 4. Bubble Show Another thing you need to be aware of by now in this video is that anything can be used in a street performance, even something as simple as bubbles. In this case, a street performer in London can be seen doing all kinds of tricks that allow him to make all sorts of bubbles within his act. He's not only using simple bubble blowers, but rather a set of nets and other materials to not only create the bubbles, but to direct them in quite a performance. The crowd, as you can tell, are very amazed by this, not the least of which are the children who have clearly never seen bubbles like this before. Plus, you can't deny that just seeing these bubbles in such numbers and sizes is pretty cool. Why did he choose to do a bubble act? Well, who can say, but he's clearly having fun, and the crowd definitely loves the show that he puts on for them. Number 3. Street Acrobats Going to the more simplicity of acts, we have a couple of acrobats who are very good at not only showing off their skills, but also entertaining a crowd as well. That's very clear here just to how skilled that the two are. They're not unlike the Bourbon Street breakdancers that we've seen before, but their skills aren't only consigned to breakdancing. Rather, they're able to do flips, balance off of one another, and have a truly insane amount of body control. Some of the tricks that they do you'd think were breaking the laws of gravity and physics, but instead, they're just so well-trained and good at their teamwork that they make it all look flawless. And when that's not enough for a reaction, they bring in the crowd and literally jump over them. Turns out, they've got hops for days. Number 2. Charlie Chaplin Statue 
Charlie Chaplin is one of film and comedy's most enduring stars, even though he has long since passed. The silent movie comedy man was influential in all sorts of ways and continues to have legends told about him, but I'm not here to talk about a man who's a living Charlie Chaplin statue. I've already touched on that before. But that was with those who were doing random characters as their statue forms. This time around, a man by the name of Ant Arnold is one who's doing his body to embody the late comedian and to good effect. In fact, he was so good at his role that the BBC actually contacted him to do a cameo in one of their true crime dramas, not as himself, but as the living Charlie Chaplin statue. Talk about imitating art, imitating life. Number 1. Karosha Karosha is hailed as one of the best street performers around, and kind of ironically, this is our first true clown on the list and our last entry. Oh well, no clowning around then, let's get to talking about him. He's very much a clown in how he handles his comedy, doing various kinds of pranks and gags and using the audience to his advantage in order to change up the routine. It makes him very unpredictable, and that in turn makes it even better for the comedy as a whole. Sometimes the best way to make a street performance work is the showmanship and dedication that goes into it, and he definitely has both. That's all from the realm of street performers that will amaze you. Were you honestly impressed by what I've shown you here today? And do you think that street performers are something that we need more of? Do you know of any street performers that should have been on this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.